Having this Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K action camera and the gimbal right here is a totally different story, totally a different type of independence and totally a different type of performance. Anyway, we are talking about the gimbal. So my very first impression when I took the gimbal out, I held it in my hand, it was like, wow, this is an amazing, nice gimbal. There are a couple of buttons on the back here which you will operate using your thumb. There are two buttons on the front here that you will operate using your index finger. And the design of the gimbal is simply very compact and very, very simple. Not to mention Xiaomi is not compromising on the quality, right? For the price that is paid for this gimbal and for this camera, I will say this is amazing good value and this is totally worthy to pay those pennies and get this kind of quality and amazing nice product that actually performs in your hands. For the features of this gimbal, this is a simple 3-axis handheld stabilized gimbal designed for ease of use and extreme simplicity, designed especially for media action sport camera to become one once you put this camera in. You have 360 degree of pan freedom on this gimbal so you can rotate the gimbal all around and get amazing nice panoramas without having to move around a bit from your position. Now let me put the camera on so that we can turn it on and I can give you an overview of the buttons and what they do. Alright, to install the camera you will see that here there is a USB inside the gimbal where the camera will actually connect with the gimbal and talk to the gimbal. This is the same port that will actually instruct the camera for a shutter commands, video pictures and other commands and at the same time this is the same port from where the camera will access the gimbal settings and it is the same port that camera will use to upgrade the gimbal firmware using the Mi app. Now before you put the camera on the gimbal remember to slide the slider to reveal the USB port. Now when installing the camera in the gimbal please be very very careful do not force the camera all the way in. You have to make sure first that the connector right there is properly seating. Do not force the camera in. I will suggest hold it nice and slowly move it inside and once the connector is seated you can push the camera all the way in. All right. Once again do not force the camera in. You might damage your USB port or USB uh, connector on the gimbal and then you will be in trouble. After you have installed the camera, push this one in and screw it in to secure the camera onto the gimbal. So if you are like doing sports with this one, yes, gimbal does have a sports mode. So if you're using it for sports purposes, your camera will not fall off the gimbal. It's perfectly secure now. All right, once it's secure, let me give you a quick overview of the buttons on the gimbal. So once again, I'm going to zoom in. I mentioned at the back of the gimbal, the side where your thumbs will be on. So when you're holding the gimbal, your thumb will be right here. And these two buttons are in very easy approach of your thumb. And this little joystick is also in very easy approach of your thumb. Now, to give you a quick overview, this is your on-off button. And at the same time, this will start stop video shooting. This is your shutter button that will take a single shot, that means uh, still images. This is a simple joystick here that will control your camera pitch up and down and your camera pan left and right, which is a 360 degree. Now at the front of the gimbal, where your index finger will stay, there are two buttons to operate. One is a button that shows plus and minus right here. Using this, using this plus minus slider, you can easily increase or decrease exposure values of your camera. This is an amazing nice addition on the gimbal. None of the gimbals that I have seen so far actually offer exposure value settings. Uh, as far as my knowledge concerns, I haven't seen any gimbal that is that actually provides you an exposure value slider right here. So according to your environment, shooting environment, you can easily increase or decrease exposure value 
of your camera shooting mode instantly. Very nice addition, very nice feature here. Then you have a simple trigger here. This trigger is used to change gimbal modes. That means if you want to lock the heading of the gimbal, that is pitch and heading, you can press and hold this button and then you can keep moving around, your gimbal will lock its heading and pitch, that means yaw and pitch will be locked. When you're moving your gimbal around using the joystick and you instantly want to go back to the default position, you will simply double click this button and your gimbal will go to the default position. If you want to shoot selfies or vlogs while you are speaking and camera is looking at you, you will you will click this button three times and camera will turn towards you for you to do selfies, for you to shoot selfies or start vlogging, start speaking while camera is looking at you. And instantly by pressing twice, camera can be set forward uh, default angle. So you can move the camera forth and back by clicking them fast and make amazing nice vlogs. Before I turn on the gimbal, I know you're getting impatient. Last thing that I want to describe is how to check the battery level on your gimbal. There are four LEDs right above the logo, Xiaomi logo, and once you press this uh, power button one time only, just click it, you will see the lights, LED lights will actually turn on and show you the battery levels. So four light means your battery is fully charged. Three, two, one, of course you know what does it mean. So of course, don't forget at the right side of the gimbal, there's a USB port that you will use to charge the gimbal battery. And if the camera is installed in the gimbal, at the same time, your camera will be charging as well while you're charging the gimbal battery. Amazing, I mean, I'm simply loving it. This is a very well thought product. <laughs> Enough teasing, let's turn the gimbal on and let me show you how does the gimbal work. And then we'll start shooting the videos right away. Press and hold the button. Gimbal comes to life instantly. And you will have to wait for a few seconds. And your camera will turn on automatically. Now, before we move any further, I will zoom in to show you the screen on the camera. You can see the LCD screen has two more additions on the screen. That is exposure value in the middle, right there. And of course, a little icon right here that you will use to control your gimbal parameters. Now, yes, you can use it to control gimbal parameters. Let's zoom out and let's see how the gimbal works. Once you receive the gimbal, it's in variable mode. This means no matter what you do, your camera will stay in same orientation, okay? So I can move the hands up and down, okay? Or left and right, the camera stays in the same orientation. What if you want the camera to look down or up? You will have to use the joystick to move the camera pitch down or up. So this is the wearable feature of the gimbal where the orientation of the camera stays at one position. Now I know you must be wondering what happens if I want the camera to change the pitch automatically when I'm changing the pitch on the gimbal. Well it is very very simple, do not worry. All you need to do is click the gimbal icon, click the gimbal mode and choose normal or sports. So I will simply choose normal. Now, if I tilt the gimbal down, you can see the camera pitch is also going down. So camera pitch is following the gimbal movement or gimbal pitch. So now the gimbal is actually in normal mode and it's going to follow the pitch. However, now you're going to ask me, what if I want to move the gimbal this way down to the object? Let's take an object for instance. You want to move your hand and bring the camera closer from the front side, but camera is actually looking downward. Well, it is very, very simple. As I said, you can press and hold the trigger to lock the orientation of your yaw and pitch. And it's just that simple. Now you can go around. Now you can go around the object any way you want, keeping the camera focused on the object and closer, and camera will not tilt down while you are tilting the whole gimbal. And when you're back to that position that you want, leave your trigger. Now, sometimes when you're using the camera, and now sometimes when you're using the gimbal or using the uh, joystick, you will find that the gimbal is staying in some strange positions that you don't want. Don't worry, you can immediately reset the gimbal position by double-clicking this trigger on the forward. 
and gimbal will set to its default position. To go to selfie mode, you just have to triple click the front button or front trigger. So you can instantly switch to selfie mode or forward mode depending on your requirements and you can make some amazing nice footage of vlogging using this gimbal. So check this out. Three and the camera turns towards me. Now it's looking at me and I can walk around, I can talk to the camera, I can do all the vlogging. And when I want to point out, hey, check this out, the truck in front of me, I can simply double click and camera will move to the forward and I can start shooting whatever is in front of me. And once I'm done, I can triple click and bring the camera back, focusing on me and start speaking to camera. So this is Amazing! This is extremely easy to use and it is very, very useful. You can basically shoot amazing, nice vlogging footage, stabilized vlogging footage using this gimbal. This is an amazingly stable and fast gimbal. It doesn't lose a single bit, no matter how you are moving, how you are walking. So feel free to put it in sports mode, feel free to run around while holding the gimbal I'm sure it's going to give you absolutely stabilized and smooth footage out of this camera. All in all, man, wow, this is a very, very well thought product and the features are amazing nice and they are actually working perfectly. If you want to know my conclusion, well, I have been using for almost over a day and I am simply in love with this. This is an absolutely fantastic product combination, product bundle. This is absolutely a very, very nice action sport HD camera having to have 4K 30 frames per second. Don't take my words for it. Go ahead and check out 4K and 2.5K videos on my channel shot with this camera and check out other videos shot with this camera system and with this gimbal system. And of course, most of my upcoming videos on YouTube will be shot using media 4K Action Sport SD Camera and Media 3-axis Handheld Stabilized Gimbal. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.